counting for girls uh, again. Um, I noticed that you did uh, lately. You did uh, quite some uh, charity work. Mm. Since when is it important for you to do such things as well? I, I would, it always been important to us mm. uh, prior to getting the record deal, and I think the first album we did, we did so much work, so much touring, and we sort of realised when we took stock at the end of the first album, we started doing the second that we hadn't really done any anything, yeah. and we uh, we were actually invited to. Uh, the lunch, the award ceremony of the charity we were supporting, World Child, to give out an award. And at that point, we were just kind of, uh, uh, you know, we heard these amazing stories about these very brave children and some very sick children. And we decided pretty much there and then that we wanted to do something yeah. to, to help that it, charity. They asked us to become more involved and we were, you know, we really wanted to. Yeah, but they, yeah they asked us to become yeah. more involved. And so then we thought, well, we should really do something mm. to help out. And, Come up with this stupid idea of doing a bike ride from London to Brighton on children's bikes. Children's bikes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? On children's yeah. bikes? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Same reaction as everybody else. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I imagined you on big choppers or something. No, no, no they were little choppers. Yeah. 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 Pete had like a proper old school 1980s chopper. I couldn't chopper go down bikes. hills because the wheel was that big. Mm -hmm. It gets stuck in the drains. So I had to, I had to go really slowly down <laughs> here. I had one like a new version of the ET bike. Which was still for ages eight to eleven, but I got a nice basket on the front because I was going to do it like the ET, and I bought like a an ET doll off eBay. It was that big, yeah, which I was going to stick in the basket, but it didn't arrive in time, so I just had a basket. Yeah, Miss Marble. Yeah. How, how many miles is it to uh, from London? Six hundred. It's, uh, it's, it's between six hundred and seven. <laughs> No, it was about 60 miles. 60 yeah. miles. And so, yeah. how long did it take? Two, two days. Three weeks. Three weeks, really? <laughs> no, two no. weeks. Two, two weeks. weeks. No, two, two, no, two days. days. Two, two days. days. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, two weeks, we could have walked it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, it was really quite painful, yeah. actually. Yeah, Still is. Yeah. <coughs> Does that ins inspire you to do more such things? No. No? Really. Really? <laughs> no, well, if, I think if we did it again, we'd probably do a gig, because it's what we're better at. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, we did. It was, it was good fun, actually, because it... A lot of it was as much as raising money, but it was raising awareness for World Chart, which is this charity in the UK. Uh, and uh, Not for more padded seats. <laughs> and we, I think we are going to, I haven't even told these guys, but I think, you know, we've got some various. Yeah. So no, you, come up, you come up with a stupid exactly. idea and you do, you do that because you. it gets you press and it gets you, people who want to write about it. And if they write about it, then more people, you can raise more money and the charity's going to get better known. So we will probably come up with, so we're thinking of going London to Oxford on a pedalo. Like uh, the little on the Thames, mm. that was an idea, but then that's quite a long way. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a bit choppy. <laughs> yeah. Were you the only three that were on that, uh, the, the, that tour to, to Brighton, or were there other bands involved as well? No, no, it's just, just us. No, it's just the three of us yeah. doing it ourselves, and Roy's dad yeah. in the van. Mm. Thinking Lovely about it, maybe we should have got some other bands. Yeah. I don't think they would have. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> stupid idea. Yeah. Is there enough awareness for, for things uh, like a well child or, 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 or other? Uh, yeah, ch charity. Do you think in in UK or I in think, Europe or yeah. I think th there are loads of charities in the UK, but there's definitely like a kind of handful that <coughs> are really high profile. And I think it's nice to be able to help the the smaller charities mm -hmm. who don't have you know such a high profile. Yeah, like the MSPCC, uh, you know, yeah. they're just these huge charities uh, that you see on TV and you see adverts. And it's getting bigger as well, though. Well, I think the the chief patron is uh, Prince Prince Harry. Mm. Yeah. So I think there's always yeah. been a tradition of bands, yeah. and, you know, yeah. sporting charity. Yeah, because like there are more pop stars that try to ra raise awareness about certain things. But yeah. it, mm. it becomes does charity becomes uh, yeah, more believable or uh, the opposite? Or when when uh, when a pop star gets involved? I, th I think I honestly think with charities and that that it doesn't you know you can never do too much mm. you know even if uh, sometimes people react against they think pop stars being preached. I don't, you know, it, I think that's a really cynical way of looking at things. And I think anything which people do for good and, you know, I, <coughs> people say things like that about Bono. And I think he does amazing things as, you know, mm. using his influence and doesn't care. He just do it because it's what he believes is right, which is fair play, mm. you know. It, he could just you wouldn't see him on a chopper, money. though. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> that would be brilliant. Us and you too. Us and Bono. Yeah. He still looked cool. He's got the glasses for it. <laughs> yeah, that would be amazing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>